So in this video, we're going to talk about staying in your area of expertise. This is such an important topic uh, for two reasons or for two people, you could say. The first group of people that this is very relevant to are people like Mr. Jazz Pianist, uh, which I'm making this video for, uh, who want to make videos or content or you know start kind of promoting themselves, uh, not, not, not necessarily even to sell, but just getting themselves out there, exposing themselves. And they feel like they're not really where they want to be yet. You know, maybe, you know, I'm not where I want to be. <laughs> I hope I never will. But they're, they feel like they're not where they want to be. Like maybe they want, you want to be a millionaire. So you're like, oh, I can't coach people. Or maybe, again, in his case, it's like, oh, I'm, no, I'm not Beethoven yet, you know, or Mozart. So I can't um, teach people how to, <laughs> how to use the piano. Uh, you know, and you're like, oh, you know, you, may, you might think like, what an idiot, you know. It's a piano, you know, you can teach it. But this goes very, very deep. Uh, like I said, I coach people on business and I'm not like a multimillionaire. I'm not even what's considered a rich guy. But by the way, <laughs> not because I didn't make enough money, it's because I blew and or destroyed or, or uh, lost so much of it. Uh, if, if I wouldn't, I would have probably been very, very <laughs> well on my way to a millionaire. Um, but like, okay, you know, look at a guy like me, okay? So I'm not, you know, your ideal guy. I'm not like the, the god of some, <laughs> or something. But I'm asking myself, okay, what's, what, are, what is my expertise? And Grant Cardone puts it, puts it very well. Make a list of things that uh, personally you're, you, you should be noted for and business-wise you should be noted for. So personally, uh, just a bunch of examples for, for, for example, I overcame uh, bipolar disorder and almost killed myself multiple times and I'm now like a happy, awesome dude. I became a master of habits better than anybody I've ever met. Um, I'm a master of consistency. I've traveled the world alone. <laughs> I took many, many risks. I had very deep relationships that I had and then I lost. I, I lost many friends in my life I, and, and then rebuilt myself. Um, what else? I, that's just off the top of my mind, but I have like a big list with uh, these kinds of, uh, of uh, things. And professionally, well, that's nice. <laughs> I mean, you know, making a shitload of money, money at, already at age 21, maybe even 20. Um, you know, making a lot of money while traveling the world. Uh, setting up a, a 500 people lecture in just two weeks with almost no advertising money and nobody knowing me prior to that. Um, having uh, my longest lecture was 16 hours long and people said it was the most amazing thing <laughs> they've ever experienced. So, you know, I, I made a lot of money in stocks and again, it's not the point of the video, but you basically take these things in the list and that's your areas of expertise. So who's this also good for is not only people who want to kind of promote themselves and content wise, but also for people who um, want to coach people. So I have a friend who's a deal maker. So the guy has a company, his own company, that um, is an investment group. And he has uh, Com Mirza on his board. If you know it, this guy's worth like $300 million and a lot of other people. Now my friend, he's not like a rich guy. He, he's a regular guy. And he basically managed to get multi-millionaires and, and a hectamillionaire, which means over 100 million units, to join his, uh, his company and represent it. And he also, his, his idea is to buy businesses, basically using a loan, which is what Dan Pena teaches. You finance a purchase of big business. It's a leveraged, biz, a leveraged deal. So somebody uh, might buy, uh, let's say there's an apartment. It's a rental, a multifamily rental apartments. Um, you know, it makes a certain amount of cash flow. It's worth a certain amount of money. And then the guy sells it to you and you finance it. And the bank, it doesn't really care how you, um, 
you know, how much of the money you have necessarily because it knows that the business will finance the loan. So um, it's like paying a mortgage with rent. So you can basically buy a business and the business might be worth $100 million and the cash flow of the business is so big that it actually covers the loan plus it gives you a surplus. So you do that and it's a massive risk, but after you do it, you basically own a business. And, you know, granted it's on a loan, but after the loan uh, is done, you now own a $100 million business. So what Dan Pena teaches, how to basically become that rich in, uh, uh, you know, three to 10 years. Now, I know it sounds awesome. <laughs> Trust me, I've been to the castle, <laughs> but it's uh, maybe for 0.01% of the population. And I know if you're like me, you're like, oh, I'm 0.01. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, probably not. Uh, 19 out of 20 people that come to the seminar each, uh, every few months, maybe one guy really gets ahead and maybe one guy out of like three, se three seminars actually completes a deal. So no, and it takes many years and never mind. So this guy who built a board, basically got multimillionaires in his company and is currently contacting businesses and actually getting them very interested in uh, selling their businesses to him. He's, by the way, negotiating currently a $30 million deal. Like the guy is literally like, okay, should I sell it to, to him or should I sell it to the big Japanese company? <laughs> Who's like, you know, it, it's more, they're gonna pay more upfront but they're gonna like dismantle my business. Whereas this guy, he, he maybe doesn't uh, pay up front, but at least he's, um, he's a lot more uh, genuine. So I could still run the business and... Sorry that I'm out of breath. Sorry that I'm a bit confused, but you know, it's a cool story. So he wants to help people. He tells me, look at I wanna you know, coach some people on the side. You know, both to create cash flow and to help people and I'm, 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 I'm scared because I'm not, I haven't like done the deals yet, just small deals I did, but not like the big, big deals. So how do I do it? And then I asked him, okay, so trace back. Can you coach them how to build a board of multimillionaires? Yes, because you did it. Can you, which by the way, I did <laughs> as well, uh, but I didn't get to the next part. Can you coach people how to contact businesses and actually get them interested in selling you their business? Yes. Can you coach them on negotiations? Yes. So you have what to teach and just, just present yourself in, sorry for the, that it's dark by the way, um, just present yourself in the right uh, manner, just in your expertise, what I call your expertise zone. So if you're a, p a pianist and you're not yet, you know, amazing, Ask your, trace back, ask yourself, what did I accomplish? What hurdles did I come over? And you'll find that you're overly underestimating yourself because you, you're like, oh, I'm not where I want to be, so it doesn't count or some other bullshit. But what about the things that you did do <laughs> that used to be so incredible and now they're normal to you? That's the thing, you know, you can help people with that. And some people, um, would actually rather be coached by you, you know, as evident by the fact that I have clients. <laughs> so uh, would you rather have uh, uh, a guy who's, who's done like a thousand, you know, 10,000 uh, real estate deals and he's like the mo master mogul and he's like, yeah, do it big and massive and hundreds of thousands of dollars of, uh, of loans. And, you know, he's like very big, big, big. Or do you rather have maybe a guy who's like, hey, dude, I'll, I'll teach you how to flip a home. So you just pay like a couple of thousand dollars down and and uh, you get back, you know, twice your money. You, get, you might make six thousand uh, dollars a month by flipping one house. You know, and it's lower risk. It's very simple. Like there's some to each his own. So just because somebody is more, quote unquote, advanced than you, it doesn't mean that he's... Uh, what they should pick. Uh, now, if you compare him on his standard, then yes, he is. So if you try to teach what he teaches, <laughs> that's a big no-no because he's obviously much better than that. But you're not teaching what he teaches. For example, 
regarding sales, if you noticed, I don't touch sales. I talk a bit about sales and I talk about, especially about inbound sales, people calling you, people contacting you because that's an area of expertise of mine. But if somebody's like, hey man, how do you, uh, you know, what's the, how do you uh, manage the sale? How do you um, deal with objections? You know, I could help because I do have experience with that. But if he's like, dude, I want to go like to the max level, I'll just tell him like, look, go, you know, I can recommend books by Grant Cardone because it's not my area of expertise. Or maybe I'll even get, get him back to my area of expertise and I'll just say, come on, man, you know, why do you need to make all these uh, outbound sales calls, you know? Just do it like me, just get inbound, get people contacting you. Why do you need them to, to go through the rejections and all that? You don't want to have it like more relaxed, fun, less salesy, less rejection, you know? Or maybe I'll tell them to hire sales sales staff or something. But anyway, I'm I either give it, getting back to my expertise zone, or I just honestly tell, like, say, like, hey, dude, go check this guy out. You know, like, uh, if you guys ask me, like, hey, Robbie, how do you edit your videos? Which is a joke, by the way, because it's pretty evident that I don't. Um, I'm not going to be like, oh yeah, I'm the master of editing. I'm going to say, hey, look, uh, check out Robert Sislow. I have, have an interview with him uh, on my YouTube channel. And, you know, he's Grant Cardone's production manager. He's the best on the planet, maybe. So, um, and, and there are better videos by, you know, Nike and shit like that. But the best one man, <laughs> like Michelangelo. I called him the Han Solo of video. Um, so, so, again, the point of this video is to basically tell you, look, you are uh, valuable. You are valuable. Stop um, thinking <laughs> you're not valuable uh, because you truly, truly. Oh, sorry, wrong turn. Because you truly, truly are. Turn right. Sorry. Uh, be, 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 like, be respectful of who you are, what you accomplished, and talk about your areas of expertise. So, if you want to start making videos just ask yourself what do i know that most people don't what am i good at that most people don't what can, what did i overcome that most people want to overcome and then you can see what's what you can talk about and you know don't wait until you're the master because uh, it's not going to happen that way and uh, and if you're a a coach maybe and you're making you know sales calls or people contact you and they're like you know when people ask me like hey man are you a millionaire yet? I just say, uh, nope. <laughs> um, can you teach me, like, can you teach me how to become a millionaire? No, I haven't, you know, become a millionaire, so I can't. Uh, but then I don't just say that. I say, but what I can teach you is how to build your own online business and start making a couple thousand dollars in just a month or two while you can basically travel, you can do whatever. And it only work like 10, 20 hours a week. And then they're like, oh, and it's funny. The guys who are like, you know, how can you teach me how to become a millionaire? They don't want to become a millionaire. They just want to make some cash. So, so the same guys who are like that, they'll just tell me like, oh, wow. You know, can you teach me? It's like, oh, what happened? You said you wanted to be a millionaire. Yeah, yeah, but um, this sounds good. Sounds good, dude. So, so don't worry about it. Really, really don't worry about it. Uh, you're perfect the way you are. There's an audience for everybody. Uh, just make sure you're, you're clear about who you are. Make sure you're clear about your strengths. Make sure that you actually live life. And that way you keep improving. And, you know, it's going to be good. It's going to be awesome. And make sure to get that fucking attention. Don't, don't wait. <laughs> uh, just like I said in the previous video uh, about being coachable. You know, taking action, dude. Uh, don't just do the things that are comfortable. Like, oh... When Robbie tells you to meditate, meditate. No, just I also say make do a video every day. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you have a product. M make a video every day. Everybody should do it. It should be mandatory because uh, it's going to help you build your integrity. It's going to get you known. It's going to get you attention. And then when you do finally come up with a fucking plan or what the fuck you're going to do, you have an audience. So, <laughs> so you don't start with nothing. So you're like, oh, I, I think I'm going to write a book. And now you're, you're not like, you know, this nobody that wrote a book. You're like this guy who has some following that writes a book. And it's kind of like I said in many, many weeks ago about the guy called uh, 
uh, that follows me the co that's called 365 days of no fap like the guy has a nice awesome following like he has now he has less subscribers than me but he has like 20 comments on every video because he makes like one video every couple of days and it's also like a lot more personal topic than self development so so he can be like you know hey guys i'm making a video about no fap <laughs> uh sorry uh, a book about not fapping and you know people are going to line up for it because again he's the expert he got the attention so you know is he a master of not fapping no is is is, is did he actually perform something that most people don't yes is, there, is this something that most people want to learn how to do? Uh, no, but are there some people that really want to know? Yeah, so he's an expert on that. He's an expert on not fapping for a year. He can make a, video, a, a book about it and already start making sales. He doesn't need to wait because he has the audience because he's got the attention on something. Again, no disrespect. No disrespect, but something as, as, as funny or as stupid as like, not fapping. Again. I'm, I'm using this as an exaggeration <laughs> no no, uh, no judgment on not fapping I don't know what it does because I've never done it never needed <laughs> um, cool so I uh, sorry for ranting a bit but this is a very important topic for a very dear person that follows me for a while for a pretty long time and actively comments so you get the VIP treatment and um, Hope you start making videos, man. I mean, you, you deserve it. You, you built up the skill. You can teach people. And you know what? Don't be fucking selfish. People need your knowledge. You know, oh, what are you going to think about me? They're going to think good things. And even if not, fuck it. You know, don't be selfish. Teach people. Help them. And you'll be good. Cheers, my brother.